Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, do the garage update. What should be there? Uh, the McLaren should be there. But... It's not. RSQ is there. It is there. The RS4 isn't there. Because it should be there, and the RS3 is there. Sometimes there's a M3 there, but that ain't there either. Why isn't that there? Because it's at my house. And that's because it's something to do with that. Why? Dodgy brakes. C63 usually is there. It's getting the wheels refurbished. And why is that car there? I wouldn't get excited about it. <laughs> so that's a car for another video. We'll tell you about that next week. And that only leaves the S15. S15, tell me. I don't want to talk about it. But we need to talk about it, so come on, tell me what's going on. What we'll talk about is we are finally out in the RS4 event today, Alton Park. He really doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> so here we are, the RS4 has finally arrived. Ben from Quick Car Recovery. This hopefully will be a quick car. So because here at Evil GT we are only professionals, we try, <laughs> tried to bump it. Probably need a bit more of a run up. Push me! <laughs> I can't push that on my own. This is how all good track days start. No bumper, bonnet open, and a flat battery. We've got power. Come on, girl. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. We're good. We're good. Loads of warning lights about lights and stuff like that. We don't need to worry about that. Yes. Final couple of bolts going into the. Um, hey, that's a nice little that nice little angle for you, that Ben. <laughs> you just need to feed uh, the little the little air thing down here. So there's a bit more air. We'll do that in a minute. These brakes are still brand new, so we need to bed the brakes in anyway. Huh? What were we saying? RS4 event track car. Go on, girl. So if you followed this car from the beginning, you'll know when we first got it, it was accident damaged, it was crashed, driver's side. So I've got a car vertical report up here, so thank you very much to today's sponsor. And this gives a bit more information as to the history of this car. Looking at this report, there's a couple of extra issues, one of which is mileage discrepancies. It's up and down, up and down. We obviously knew that it was accident damage when we got it because it was accident damage. But what we didn't know was before then, in 2013 and 2014, it was a category D write-off twice and how this information has been collated is that car vertical check thousands of different databases all across europe and put them all into one really easy to see report not only does it check the mileage and if it's ever been in an accident it also checks to see if it's ever been stolen if there's any finance outstanding on it and also any mot history and what it may have failed on so if you're in the market for a used car make sure you go and get your car vertical report using the link in the description below and I bet you've got a discount code as well. I have, Evil GT 10 Put it right there for me, Aris, if you don't mind. Thanks very much. The only thing that's worrying me a little bit is this is still open. I don't know where the bit of plastic's gone that goes, sort of goes in that bit there and comes out through this bit of the, but I don't know where that's gone. But otherwise, we've got plenty of cold air, hopefully going through them two bits. So it should be good. Go on. It's because you've got a bit of moisture on there now. Well, you, got no lube. Prob you got no problem with moisture because it's chucking it down. <laughs> Bit of lube. So we're running on uh, Chinese semi-slicks yeah. for a start. What's that wrong with Chinese? So we've got, we've got four McDonald's trays under each corner. And now the wipers, oh. I mean, they're not good for anything, they're mardy, oh, let's be honest. Wiping. So I reckon I know now why it's broken, the engine, because it does this. <laughs> this isn't the DMO map, right? No, no, this is how the car comes. We've not put this on. pay for that i know i don't know why so now the engine's broke yeah but it certainly will be after this track day if it carries on popping and banging like that so this is what happens when you say to leroy hey there's the link make sure you do the briefing and he's still messing about i've got to listen to it i feel a little bit worried in this in this seat why i don't know <laughs> i just feel like i'm dead close to the dash and these harnesses are not the best don't worry i'm not going to go mad Okay. Uh, because the brakes are brand new so we need to make sure that the brakes are bedded in so I'll just be dabbing the brakes and feeling my way around you in reverse then? Why, 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 you why is it going into reverse? they're so close together then right, so this is it a year, a we year finally in, got her on track a year in the making so already we've got a bit of a dry line I like dry lines especially when we're on semi slicks even good semi slicks, I think they're just Chinese specials. I feel like we're going to end up in a tyre wall right. without even getting off this because I don't trust this car. I mean, we put it together. The last person I spoke to about these tyres said they're absolutely awful. <laughs> so, um, so, but then I suppose for £240 for a full set, that doesn't sort of give you the sense of, um, of you know, the value of a tyre for good money. Usually you spend that on one tyre, but we're up into six. It feels good. I'm just going.
going steady now, we'll get on the brakes, on and off the brakes a little bit, just try and bend these in. Yeah, this is literally the first time out with the brakes, so we've got to be careful. I'm not going to kick the brakes head in, otherwise we'll end up ruining them. I'm obviously taking it so steady. Oh but yeah, this is fucking sedate. <laughs> but she feels really good. That's good. It's like good to get her out. I like the sound of it. I mean, we could have dusted it off. Look at that. It's shocking that, isn't it? <laughs> coming into uh, Druids, I'm shitting myself. I mean, there's a few uh, little knocks and cracks from bits and bobs down there. You're probably hearing more because there's no carpet. I'm a little bit worried about the oil temperature because that got that got hot real quick just standing still. But it's on 104 now. And I've literally been tootling. Like, this is going so slow around here. But it seems to be running fine, it's pulling fine. Is that enough warm up now? It's, it's just the brakes, it's the brakes. It's fucking sending now. Do you feel the tail coming out a little bit? Yeah, loads of understeer then. Loads of understeer? Loads of understeer, yeah. I think you need to get a decent amount of tyre temp. I mean, it sounds really good. That banging and stuff sounds... Whoa! It sounds really good. The back end, there's no weight in the back. Sessions. We've done 10 minutes. Should we just stay out until it breaks? Yeah. <laughs> well, if you don't get a go. No, that's not turn it in, turn it in. Christ. I must admit, you're taking some fucking funny angles into these corners. Right. That was fucking well worked like that. Well, yeah, because you wouldn't turn in. not hard on the brake but to be fair we didn't get a chance to give it a bit of a cool down lap you know go around steady i sort of you know we were driving quite hard and then it came straight in so what you got to do is just stand here and blow on them yeah i mean what well, that's water you know don't worry about that <laughs> it's leroy's turn i'll let you know what the grass looks like in a minute just because i went off a little bit in the nurberg ring how's it feel it feels like it's fucking bad in a GT3 and he is tootling 50 mile an hour move your car man shit oh the back went light then I felt like coming round whoa 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 it's coming out what are we up to have you heard these pops and bangs it's absolutely ridiculous that for a track car has got the most character it doesn't look like it's going to be very good but it's good fun. Maybe the one thing that just lets it down is it's got too much understeer. A little bit of oversteer, which is actually a good thing. It's not about uh, the fastest track times, it's about having fun. Go on, what have you found? Well, I found <laughs> that was attached to, I think I pulled it through the hole. So you see this little hole here? Yeah, I can Right, see it. so there was a bit there, that was in the hole, and then that was attached to that, plugged into that there. So comment, what is it? It says Responder LE. Right. I'm very disappointed with the front end downforce that we're getting off this massive... Oh, that's why. 
Well, we'll just overlook that. Don't worry about that. There's obviously a bolt that's fell out of that bit, so leave that alone. <laughs> is it on the same on the other side? Uh, no, that's attached to it. I think I did actually do that side. <laughs> I'm sure you did, did this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Uncle Benji's going out as a passenger with, with the other Uncle Benji, with nephew Benji, <laughs> and if he does crash the car. Quick car recovery, I'm going to recover the car. You can be quick car. I'll do it, leave us your keys. How many laps have we done? Uh, 10. How much fuel have we used? Quarter of a tank. Quarter of a tank. Who said V8s are bad on fuel? If this was a McLaren, it would be about three quarters of a tank. It still does 40 miles to the gallon at the red line, this, mate. We've got this time to beat two minutes, 2.26. Do you know what, I'm happy with that. Yeah. And, do you know and what, I'm happy, happy I'm happy with that. <laughs> How did you enjoy your I flying didn't. lap in I the I didn't RS4? enjoy that one little bit, mate, no. second she came what's that one called Nickerbrook area yeah so there was a big lot of smoke everywhere it was like I mean I know that they use these tires for drift cars right there was about as much smoke coming out the back of this car when you were fully locked up because there's an ABS light on the dash in there so obviously he's foot to the floor with the brake slam on smoke everywhere five point summit 205 so it's three seconds slower so what we've established there is we've taken a car we've stripped it out we've modified it and we've ruined it this is what we say every time well we have come to the conclusion not us being experts but this car is a hundred kilos lighter what's the only difference between this car and the saloon well I can't, we can't remember whether you drove the saloon round with or without me in it so let's say it was without me in it right but well, then this was with me in it so technically the weight should be about the same uh, because of the weight we took out of this. But the only other thing, and obviously this is, I'm making, I don't even know why I'm making excuses for you here. <laughs> why am I making excuses for you here? The only difference, Bons, basically, Bons, what, Bons, Ben's, Bons, what, what Ben's trying to say is, either way, this car, the two cars are 1,700, just over kilos. Tyres. <laughs> tyres is the only difference. So the difference in good tyres and bad tyres, I reckon can be as much as five seconds <laughs> because this car should get round the track much quicker than the other one just because of the weight I've never the weight heard, advantage i've never heard such bollocks in all my life these are semi slicks mate <laughs> he's still moaning about the flat spot on the tire all four have got flat down. spots on there'll be a flat spot on there well if you can't find it then it's not there it doesn't it? count push you know it's the handbrake on no it's on the flat spot you dickhead <laughs> 10 minutes yeah. later still trying to find the flat spot which doesn't exist yeah that does feel like this one don't egg him on <laughs> The camper tells no lies, definitely no flat spots on that. There's flat spots on it. You know like when you go over the white lines when you're coming up to a junction motorway? That's what it feels like in a car now. So this is actually night and day difference on the fuel compared to the 720S. Oh yeah. How much? Although, this was saying before that there was 70 miles of range, but that's because of how we've been driving it. But there's still, I don't know if you can see it there, just under half a tank. Not just a V8, which is great fun, great value for money as 55 well. 55 miles to the gallon. So the main objective to this video was to shake this car down, make sure it was in tip-top condition, 
like a brand new car as we keep saying yeah ready for the winner of the raffle because it's going to get raffled off this one is yeah because we can't afford... we're allowed to raffle a car that's not roadworthy off i don't know we can ask can we raffle a car off you not yeah he said yeah yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah, problem yeah, right. it, it's so it's asked. getting raffled off yeah anyway it's going to be a fiver ticket maybe maybe even cheaper we'll see if we what we can do but yeah it's going unfortunately it's great fun it works oh yeah it definitely works the cars, the cars run and perform faultlessly, I think. Yeah. The engine pulls really, really well. It sounds mint, the pops and bangs, although it's probably not doing the engine many favours. I mean, come on. There's not a single person on here that's gone, oh, yeah, I've not, I didn't even know there was an RS4 on here, because you've heard it before you've seen it. We have. But with that, we say thank you for watching. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe. Please subscribe, that would be very, very helpful. And we'll see you on the next one. Ta!